Rita Moreno dated Elvis Presley as a revenge. Rita Moreno found a way to get back at Marlon Brando. Their relationship lasted for eight years. But Brando kept cheating on Moreno. I found lingerie in his house. She revealed. Of course, I was heartbroken and I went home in tears. Really, I was naive. And I was angry too. Just furious. But then the fates smiled at Moreno. The next day, her telephone rang. It was Colonel Parker, Elvis Presley's manager. Elvis spotted you at the 20th Century Fox Commissary, Parker said. And he liked what he saw. Moreno was flabbergasted as Parker continued. And he would like very much to meet you. Would you like to meet him? Moreno wasn't prepared for this turn of events. But then. I thought of those panties and I said, yes, I would. Moreno dated Elvis several times. She only did it to spite Marlon Brando. Elvis was sweet but boring, according to Moreno. He was sweet, but he was a country boy. So anyway, when Marlon found out, it didn't take long. He started to throw chairs. He was so angry, it was wonderful. And I just sat there as he threw chairs and carried on. Moreno and Brando met when she was 22. She visited the set of the Napoleon biopic, Desiree. Brando starred as Napoleon Bonaparte. He was the daddy that I couldn't please. Moreno says. I didn't know that, I wasn't aware of that at all. But he was the one I wanted to please. He was the one I wanted to be married to. Despite their later breakup, the relationship left a lasting impression. From the moment we met, I felt that a web had been spun between us, drawing me to Marlon. Amazingly, he felt the same way and made no secret about it. On their first date, Brando took Moreno to an all-star, all-method actor party. Other attendees included Paul Newman, James Dean, and Joanne Woodward. I felt odd and out of my league. Moreno recalled. Oddly, their affair remained a secret for a long time. Brando didn't want to go public. He was an absolute lunatic about that. And we went out very little. We were always going to little obscure restaurants. The relationship carried on while Brando continued to date on the side. He even married two women while still dating Moreno. Moreno describes her time with Brando as eight years of tumult. Yet she kept wearing his favorite perfume for over 50 years. Brando preferred women's perfume to men's cologne. Moreno wore his favorite, Balmont's Ventvert. When I inhale it, I inhale the memory of Marlon. She wrote in 2013. I can almost feel his smooth polished skin and taste his sweet breath. Marlon Brando died in 2004. Only one piece of movie memorabilia was on display in his home. It was a still of him and a Newt Moreno from 1968, the night of the following day. Moreno has a black and white portrait of Brando at home. Why that picture of Marlon Brando? Moreno said in 2017. Because he was a big love of mine in my life. Rita Moreno married Leonard Gordon in 1965. Years later, Brando was welcomed into their family as a close friend. My daughter came home from school one day and found him playing the congas in our living room. Moreno recalled. She called him the man with the drums 